So whenever there's a steep increase, it's a change in shell. When there's a mild increase, then you are still on the same shell. Okay, remember that. Let's move forward. So explanations for what we saw in the last slide. For an element, successive ionization energies increase. This is because as the outermost electron is removed, the overall posit positive charge on the ion, because obviously when we are removing an electron, we have an ion, on the ion results in an increase in the electrostatic force of attraction between the new outermost electron and the nucleus. As a result, more energy is needed to remove the new outermost electron. And because more energy is needed to remove the new outermost electron, uh, the ionization energy has increased. When there is a change in shell, there is a steep increase in ionization energies because the new outermost shell is closer to the nucleus than the one before it. As a result, the electrostatic force of attraction between the nucleus and the outermost electrons is greater and hence a lot more energy is needed to remove the outermost electron which is the new outermost electron which is in a new shell which is in the shell uh, which is in the uh, which shell which, ha which, which is now the outermost shell the new outermost shell not the new shell but the new outermost shell so you have to remember these points you have to write all of this in your exam to get the marks now trends in first ionization energy is down a group so as we go down a group you can see this we are talking about group 1 as we are going down the group you can see that the ion the first ionization energy is decreasing now the first ionization energy is decreasing because as we go down the group we know that nuclear charge increases so for nuclear charge i'm going to write nc so we know that nuclear charge increases so in that case ionization energy should increase why is it decreasing because as we go down the group even the atomic radius increases and the shielding increases because when we go down a group there is one more full, full shell there is one more full shell and because of that one extra full shell there is more shielding so you can see that all three of these are all three of these are increasing so the increased shielding and increased atomic radius will outweigh the increased nuclear charge. So the net effect, the net effect will be a fall in the first ionization energy. So as I've explained over here, as we go down a group, the ionization energies decrease. As we go down the group, nuclear charge increases. Now we start, this is the general statement that down the group, the ionization energy decreases. From here on, we will be doing the explanation. So as we go down the group, nuclear charge increases. Simultaneously, atomic radius increases and the shielding effect by full electron shell, shell in cells increases because there is one more full electron shell. shell. Every time we go down, there is one more full electron shell. The increase in atomic radius and shielding outweighs the increase in nuclear charge. Hence, the resultant effect is that less energy is needed as we go down the group because the force of attraction between the nucleus and outermost electrons become, becomes weaker. So less energy is needed to remove an electron. I forgot to complete this sentence. Less energy is needed to remove an electron for the, from the outermost shell because of all these effects. Now we have done trends in first ionization energies for an element. I have, uh, we have done trends in first ionization energies down a group. Now let's do trends in first ionization energies across a period. So you can see that this is the, uh, this is the uh, first and second periods of the periodic table. You know that, uh, let's go back to, the, to our periodic table. So the, the, vertic the columns are called groups. So these are groups, hydrogen not included, sorry. If we remove, if we ignore hydrogen, if we ignore hydrogen, this is a group. This is a group. And if you look at periods, then this will be the first period. Periods are the rows, the horizontal rows. This is the second period of the periodic table. So this is the difference between groups and periods, as you know. So now, right now we are talking about the periods of the periodic table, which are the horizontal rows. So the first period has only hydrogen and helium. The second period goes from lithium to neon. Yeah, so let's go back now. So we start with hydrogen, so the first period, then we start with the second period from here. 
So now let's see what is happening. So in the first period, so we, the general trend that we see is that when we